recognized for five minutes. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Miller, we have now uh, established and you have acknowledged uh, that you were briefed on May 3rd um, that there was improper criteria used for tax exempt applications. At the briefing in May 3rd, you were told that tax exempt applications were being targeted that contained terms such as Tea Party, We the People, Patriots, Bill of Rights, Constitution, Government Spending Taxes, and those that criticized how the country was run. After that, knowing of these practices, you sent letters to Congress acknowledging our investigation of these allegations, but omitted that the discriminatory practices were alleged in fact taking place. Then, remember, this briefing took place May of 2012. Then you came here to a subcommittee hearing on this issue on July 25th, where we were investigating the discriminatory filters used to hold up the 501c4 applications of groups. Specifically, you were told that these conservative groups felt like they were being harassed, and you were asked this question, quote, what kind of letter or action is taking place at this time that you are aware of? And then knowing full well that these filters were being used to target certain groups, you said, and I quote, I am aware that some 200 501c4 applications fell into this category, the, the determination letter process. We did group these organizations together to ensure consistency, to ensure quality. We continue to work those cases, close quote. That was your answer to this committee after you had received the briefing that these targeting was occurring, which you just earlier acknowledged was outrageous. Now, the law governing how you must respond to congressional inquiries requires you to tell not only the truth, but to tell the whole truth. You, quote, cannot conceal or cover up by any trick, scheme, or device a material fact. How was that not misleading this committee? You knew the targeting was taking place. You knew the terms Tea Party, Patriots were being used. You just acknowledged a minute ago that they were outrageous. And then when you were asked about this, after you were briefed about this, that was the answer you gave us? How can we not conclude that you misled this committee? So that was a lot of questions, sir. It's one. How can we conclude that you did not mislead this committee? I, I did not mislead the committee. I stand by my answer then. I stand by my answer now. Harassment discussion that was part of that question implies political motivation. Um, uh, there is a discussion going on. Uh, there is no political motivation. Let, let me ask it again. May I answer the question, sir? Let me just, I'm going to help you give you some clarity here. Here's the question you were asked. What kind of letter or action is being taken place at this time that you are aware of? So the discussion of the context of that, and again, we need to go back and, to, and look at the context. There was the listing. There was the treatment of the cases. My understanding of that question was the treatment of the cases because all of the letters, and he was talking, I think it was Mr. Marchand, was talking about the, I'm hearing that people are complaining about letters. Our response was to that. We found out about those letters. We dealt with them. As has been explained, we gave more time. We went and talked to them about, uh, about um, expanding the way they could answer it. And we dealt, uh, I think, fairly and successfully with the donor list issue. You knew of our concern of this targeting. You knew of the allegations that had been reported to this committee. We brought you here to talk about it. You had received a briefing that this targeting was taking place, but you did not divulge that to this committee when we were asking questions about this. You said in your answer that you were aware some 200 501c4 applications fell into this quote category. We did these groupings together to ensure consistency, to ensure quality. We continue to work those cases. You didn't mention targeting based on ideology. You didn't mention targeting based on um, buzzwords like Tea Party or Patriots or 912. You knew that, but you didn't mention this to the committee. Do you not think that that's a very incomplete answer? I answered the question truthfully. 